Hey guys, it's Chad Knight Paladin, and welcome back to my channel. Today is another traditional speed paint. I'm using watercolors again today, and as you can see, I'm using a different setup than usual. I did use this setup for Inktober, but I'm still trying to decide whether I want to keep this setup or if I want to use the overhead again. Um, it has its advantages and disadvantages. Mainly, it has to do with capturing the workspace and trying to position the paper and immersiveness and I, I can't decide. But I see a lot of YouTubers using either or, so I don't know what I want to do. So today, I'm doing some fan art of an anime, which I'm pretty sure a lot of people have heard of or have watched. Because it was a pretty big thing back in 08-ish, and then it became a thing again in 2014-2013-ish. And I'm talking about Fate. So maybe you can guess who this is. This is Saber from Fate Stay Night mainly. Uh, and Zero, or if you don't want spoilers on who this is, plug your ears for like 3 seconds. This is the wielder of the Holy Sword Excalibur, King of Britain, Arthur Pendragon. Or, as she is called in the Fate series, Artoria Pendragon. I decided to do this fan out of her because I was playing Fate Unlimited no, no, no. Unlimited Blade Works. No, that's wrong. Uh, I was playing Fate Grand Order, which is the mobile game for the Fate series. And, which surprisingly, your main servant isn't Saber, unless you change out your main servant then. I'm sorry, Mashu. Though I, I use Mashu a lot because of her kind of weak but not really skills. I, I just keep her there because she's your main character. But, um,. So I say, right? Uh, at the time when I was drawing this, the Camelot chapter was more or less just released, and that gave me the idea of drawing Saber and maybe some of her knights. And given that Mashu can really like your main servant and your first servant, her heroic spirit is technically a knight of the round table, so I might do Mashu next. And I've been wanting to draw Mashu. I it might turn into a series, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I'll be able to draw all her knights, or at least all of the knights we have designs of. Because Gawain? Yeah. Gawain is in Fate Extra, and then Lancelot is in Zero. So, I, I mean, there's already, there's already a good number of knights we can draw. And either way. I just think it would be a fun idea. So the idea that I wanted to go with is I wanted Saber to be very um, dignified and somewhat intimidating since she is a king. Um, I wanted her to keep that kingly feel and putting her on the throne with the cross leg pose really brings that out. And I don't know if it's being translated properly, but she is kind of a bit slouched in her seat, and I guess that gives it a bit more um, a really powerful feel. She had a bit of difficulty using the water brush with this particular watercolor pad, mainly because it's a it's a very slippery pad, and the water brush is constantly saturated with water. So I wasn't really expecting my colors to act that way. So I go in a few times to keep the colors more or less uh, the same opacity. And because the previous joints I've done on this pad, I was using the traditional brush. So. This is my first time using a water brush with this pad. So here I'm kinda going off screen mainly because I forgot 
my borders and I was used to the overhead view where I could see my entire, well, like half of my desk, you were able to see it. So I forgot that this side angle, you really couldn't see the bottom edge of this particular pad. It works fine with notebooks and, you know, those small sketch notebooks, but it doesn't really work with a more bigger canvas like this. With this particular piece, I'm, I'm employing a lot of more off-white colors, given that her armor is steel or metal, so I use a very faint um, ultramarine blue to, keep, to give it a little bit of shadow, and on her what do you call that? Her skirt? The cream part of her her the white part out of her skirt. I made it more creamish just to give it a little bit more tone and that's basically it. To contrast the blues, I gave her a little bit of red in the background. I do tone that down later or right now rather. I tone it down with a bit of blue to keep it cooler and less eye catching since I don't want it to take away from Saber herself. Originally, the cloak behind her, or that piece of curtain behind her, was supposed to be blue or a darker, more um, colder blue, but I thought it might blend in too much with her skirt and the cloak on the side, so I made it purple just to give it a bit more warmth. But I do tone that down with um, paints gray and blue again, because it was too warm, too red and I, it was too colorful even though I was going for a colder looking piece so I, I kind of changed my mind several times with how I want the colors to turn out so I guess that's why it's not as put together as usual or um, not as put together as I would like it to be So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna start tying it in with the colors I've used in the piece. So for example, even though you can't see it, um, I'm using some blues here and there to make things colder and to make it tie in with the cloak and her skirt. I'm adding shadows to the fluffy part of her cloak. If you watch, or rather, if you play Grand Order, you'd know that her final artwork has a fluffy cloak in it and I wanted to use that. And then on the curtains later you'd see that I use blue again to kind of darken it up and tie it in with everything else. Also my main problem is that I forgot that this pad does not soak up water quickly so I have a tendency I had a tendency to lift up the color underneath which became a bit of a problem and I had to keep on layering colors on top of each other just to make it um, all in the same tone again so that posed the challenge even though I do like how this turned out um, originally this was supposed to be a digital piece but I got tired of working on it digitally so I copied the composition onto this watercolor pad and did it traditionally
So, I hope you guys enjoyed. I had a lot of fun drawing this, even though it's super detailed and the folds were a lot to work on. But I hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, maybe like or subscribe. I do a lot of fan art and I do a lot of character designing. And um, what else? That would make me happy, I guess. Okay. Uh, follow me on Tumblr, Instagram, and DeviantArt. And I will see you around. Thank you.